This song's about nothing. Oh, shut up with the strings. I bought over 445s on eBay. Now I'm going through them, cleaning each one, and looking for lost gems. And here's the next one. Why do you keep me waiting and make it with you by bread? Make it with you is the A side. Okay, as far as I know, this is from the early 70s. Um, I don't know anything about bread. I don't know anything about bread except they had a song called Baby I'm a Want You. I don't know what it sounds like, I just know the title. I think bread is just like, just schlocky, soft rock, the kind that I do not like. I do not have any hopes for this. Maybe they will surprise me. Maybe the A side is horrible and maybe the B side is some awesome thing, but I don't know. I don't have high hopes for this. Let's listen. Like, uh, it's pretty soft, but softness is not necessarily a bad thing. This is like Seals and Crofts without the kind of spice, without the tanginess. Very competent. Oh, shut up. He wants to make it with you. This song's about nothing. Oh, shut up with the strings. <sighs> Ooh, can you believe the things that I do? Life can be short or long. That's a very, very smart thing to say. Bread, who wrote this? David, David Guetta, David Gates. I would like to make it with you. Well, there's no surprises here. It's competent. That's about as, that's about the most I can say about it. It's about what I thought. When I thought of uh, plain white bread, this is about what I thought. I was right. Okay, you've made your point. You can end now. I want this song to end now. I really, really, really do. I bet there's a fade out. I give him a fade out. A song like that should be faded out. Preferably about two minutes ago. All right, let's try. Why do you keep me waiting? Hey, there you go. A fuzzy guitar. I'm already hooked. <laughs> Alright, there's some spirit to this one at least. Dun, 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 dun. Not great spirit, but something. Mm. Oh, this is the kind of thing that's got a lot of good parts, but it's not something you would choose to listen to. If I wanted to hear fuzz guitar, there's a million other things I'd play first. I don't know, I wouldn't turn it off though if it came on, you know? If I was sitting in a Waffle House and this came on, I would go, awesome! But if I was sitting at my computer looking through my iTunes going, what do I want to play? I wouldn't go, ooh, what's it called? Why do you keep me waiting by bread? It's unusual in a B-side kind of way, it's all right. Oh, this, is, this has got Potential. This is usable for something. That fuzz guitar really, really uh, spices it up, really pulls it along. All right, all right, Brad. You've totally failed on the A side, but fair enough. The B side shows you got something. A side, no. B side, yes. The B side was written by James Griffin, who also wrote the song uh, by the Roosters. Co-wrote both, uh, both sides of that, that 45 by the Roosters that I did earlier. So, maybe James Griffin 
is the brains behind bread. I don't know anything about bread. I have no idea how many people are even in bread. I think four. Maybe I'm gonna want half of this thing. Make It With You came out in 1970. It was from the album On The Waters. Make It With You was a number one hit in America. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Um, Why Do You Keep Me Waiting was actually the first song on that album, which is kind of a cool way to lead off an album, I guess. Make It With You was number two and immediately uh, derailed the album and who cares. There were four people in bread. I do not care. 